Now, social media has been a buzz about the stench currently in the air in Johannesburg. The origin of the sulfur smell has not yet been confirmed by city officials, but similar occurrences have previously been accredited to power generation and petrochemical plants in Bumalanga. Residents with allergies and asthma have been advised to stay away from the smell. For more on this, I'm joined by Simon Brewer, the CEO of Selenko. Simon, a very good afternoon to you. Thank you for your time. Um, some residents in Johannesburg have noted a rather foul smell in the atmosphere, uh, perhaps uh, linking it to the poor air quality. What exactly is uh, sulfur cloud? Okay, um, Paul, thanks very much for inviting me on the show. Um, the sulfur dioxide stems from burning of fossil fuels, generally. Um, volcanic uh, activity is the other, the other source, but um, the source for South Africa's purposes is actually the burning of fossil fuel. And this includes um, coal, oil, gas, that sort of thing. Um, what we experiencing in Joburg is um, winds are blowing the sulfur dioxide um, cloud, as it were, from Mpumalanga towards Johannesburg. This unfortunately happens uh, every winter, it seems. But um, more importantly and more concerningly is the fact that um, this cloud has made South Africa the third world, uh, with the, the, the third highest polluted um, city in the world, and this includes such cities as those found in India and China, which we know is very, very polluted. But that's quite a scary statistic. And of course, with this scary uh, statistic, we know that some dangers are posed here, especially for those who may be uh, called sensitive groups with allergies and, and asthma. This could be a, a massive trigger point. Absolutely. Um, asthma, you get asthma in two ways. One is through exercise, which we are obviously not talking about here. But the other way is um, through pollutants. Um, this can include dust, but also um, particularly the sulfur dioxide is a, is a great aggravator of respiratory infections and inflammation. Um, there's over 20 million people in South Africa that actually suffer from asthma. Um, and when you consider that um, there's 360 million in the world that, that suffer also from similar um, inflictions, it's quite an amazing statistic. Um, the, the best way really to, to handle asthma, and unfortunately it's, it's not a curable disease, but the best way to handle it is to ensure that you um, are living or working in a safe environment, and that is in, um, obtained by ensuring that the air quality in your room or office is kept clean and there's regular cleaning, dusting of those rooms or offices. So what if you work in a highly um, polluted environment where, it, where it's an industrial place with a lot of factories and chimneys churning? What happens then? How do you protect yourself? Well, mask wearing is, is one of the ways of doing it, but it's not ideal, unfortunately, as we've seen from COVID, um, from the resistance that we're beginning to see. Um, you know, people are just not wearing masks anymore. Um, but mask wearing is one aspect, but also to speak to management um, and to ensure that they are beginning to be aware of um, the downtime and um, people getting sick, basically, um, from, from allergies and not being able to work. Um, it's, got to, it's got to come from um, the management side of things. And um, they need to put in protocols where they can clean up their production processes. Um, for example, there should be scrubbers on top of um, smokestacks that reduce the amount of um, carbon uh, sulfur dioxide that, that is being emitted. Um, but it's, it's got to be a, a wholesale strategic plan, um, not only from a company, but from, from a country's point of view as well.
Very well. Thank you so much, uh, Simon Gruff. Thank you for your time speaking to us there about uh, some of the dangers associated with sulfur cloud as, of course, the world observes World Allergy Week. Thank you for your time.